Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and this is the Subscriber Designs episode 29. The very first design for this episode is the Longsword Mark II. This is derived from the Halo universe and this is also made by Noisy Boy 201 Now, I'm gonna be very honest here. It's not very pretty. I have to admit. But... And I, I I decided to actually, I decided to show this craft so that I could make a few pointers here and there. Although this craft was made in the olden days of KSP, uh, there were still some parts that you could have used that would have improved the looks here. And so this is sort of a message to everyone, pretty much, or everyone that's you know not exactly knowledgeable about this kind of stuff. Uh, basically, you you find a connector. Or any a larger connector. I, I'm still I'm still quite a noob with these connectors actually, not that one. This one here, a sized. I think we had a part similar to this in the past. And if you place something like that, so what could have been done? What could have been done is you'd have a layer of wings on the top, and then possibly another layer on the bottom, and that would make a very nice thick shape along the wings here. And inside, you could have hidden a whole bunch of uh, engines, like these engines would have been fine. They would have been like protruding from the wings a little bit, like the very edges there, but, you know, that would have been okay, given that the majority of it was hidden. Uh, so I'd just like to point that out. And also, as I said, this craft was made in the olden days, so a few things have changed, hence the reason why these control services are protruding out from that area. Uh, I, I do think that, let's see... Uh, action groups have been set, although usually they're kind of gone. Oh, they're still here. Alright, I guess I haven't even tested this craft out. I guess I'm just going to try it out. <laughs> let's see how we go. Uh, let's... Oh, oh, wait, abort. I'm going to take that off first. Can't launch with the part we just added. Yeah, clear the runway. Valentina, no problem. No problem at all. Alright, well we should read the instructions. Number one on the keypad uh, activates the bottom thrusters, which are which, which ones? These ones? All right. Okay, I'm assuming that's them. Uh, number two shuts them down. Number three activates the forward propulsion thrusters. Forward propulsion. Wait, forward propulsion would be all these, eh? Bottom one would then be these. I'm assuming. And then, all right, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm just gonna heretics just gonna test it out. All right, full throttle. Number one. Well, that was... Okay, so that's the bottom. No, not good. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Actually, it's pretty good. <laughs> I actually like this. That's so cool. Whoa. So amazing. So, that was... Alright. Number four. Turn them off. Number three again. Them. Number one. Hey, I actually... I think that's pretty darn good. Well, okay, not anymore. <laughs> what happened there? All right, I guess this craft isn't exactly used to the new aerodynamics. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's quite good, actually. Let me do that again. I like it. Again, you know, improve the looks. Make the wings a little bit more thicker and... No problem. This would be a masterpiece. Except for this back part here. That, that needs a bit of fixing. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Uh, let's check on the fuel reserves, actually. Alright, I'm, I'm kind of nervous here. Alright, number one. Then, kind of goes on an angle. Number three. Num oh, oh, alright. Wow, it's overheating, eh? So, I'm, I'm assuming it's overheating because, like, the towel connected here was overheating. Because it's not aerodynamic, or what reason? Full throttle! Alright, you can't really go very far with this. Yeah. Well, that's a downside. Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay, make sure we have caps lock on for this. Okay, now we've lost control. <laughs> Damn it, caps lock off again. All right, let's do this. I don't think we'll be able to land. Yeah, full throttle. All right, that will do. Oh, ran out of fuel. <laughs> well, that was fun. It's not exactly a glider, kind of. Right, time warp. Usually that thinks fix up oh, that that doesn't fix it. <laughs> Needs a few strats. That's for sure. Alright, yeah, it's it's gone. 
Goodbye. Wait. Oh. Oh, flying it backwards. Oh, that works. Yes. Go. I'm not exactly good at flying things backwards. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we need to go that direction. Yeah. Yeah. A and S. A and S. Good. Alright. Just hold down A. Whoa. Q. Need my other hand. <laughs> oh, no. No. Uh, no. Alright, well. Yeah. Valentina survived. Oh, it's Bob now. What? Okay. Hey, you survived. Congratulations. Very good. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Alright, well, that was fun. Uh, what's the use of a... All right, might as well recover it. <laughs> so the next design is... Wait, let me take a look at it. There's some pretty cool looking things today, actually. As, as per usual. It's this one. EOA and stuff. Whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know. What's it called, actually? Uh, we got two crafts, actually, from Lucky Armadillo. Yes, and he submitted the Project Tracks, which is this one, and then this Iwa and stuff. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know what that is. Uh, that looks kind of interesting. I'm going for a little tanky design. So let's read the description after launching this. All right, Iwa and stuff. It's built a corner at high speed and hopefully not break into pieces or worse. Very good. Very good description. So yeah, if you want more power, switch the engine to other mode and don't corner uphill. Or it will be a disaster. And I'm kind of tempted to do what you just said not to do. <laughs> All right, let's keep on fuel. All right, do we have action group set? Yeah. Uh, we have to manually switch mode. That's okay. Whereabouts is the parachute located? Oh, okay. It's hidden in there. Love that feature. That's amazing. Kind of highlights the parts as you hover over. Whoa, okay. Well, okay. Yep. I think I was going too fast. <laughs> over the speed limit. I think the speed limit for those particular wheels that we're using was 60 meters per second. Yeah, I think uh, a bit too fast for that craft. The engine, you know what? Would have been good is if the thrust was actually limited a little. Something like this. Although, you really have to go down big time. All right, let's try that out. Fourth frato. All right, this is switch mode. Uh, talker mode. Yeah, wow, well, that's, yeah. Oh, wait, huh. thrust changes. Cool. All right, yeah, that's a good speed. Uh, we're gonna go docking mode, eh? Let's do it. Ah, can't control it. What's going on? Engine's off. I really cannot control it. Huh. What's going on? Whoa, all right. All right, I can fly. Yeah. Well, that works. <laughs> That, that was fun. Yes, very good, very good. Continue breaking. Continue. Boof, 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 boof. <laughs> Too many. All right, whatever. Let's go on to the next one, which is Project Tracks. This is, Project Tracks is the one that I actually was interested in out of the de design submitted by Lucky Armadillo. Yeah, let's take a look. 155 parts and actually it looks pretty darn good. Look at that. No weapons, only downside, but Take a look at the wheel placement. Not exactly perfect, I'll admit. Looks like he sort of manually placed these one by one and uh, placement wasn't perfect. There's a way around that actually, might I add, is if you want to place parts perfectly, let's see if I can do this. So pretend this is the, the point. What you do is, as you can see, each one of these panels this is like one panel, this is another, this is another. So if you place a part here, whatever it may be, like that, if you just simply copy that panel continuously, all of these will be equal height. That's just a little idea, because I'm assuming you've placed everything one by one, really. Uh, wait, let's take a look. Maybe there's a pattern here. Uh, eh, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like one by one. Anyway. Alright, well, let's test this thing out. Let's see. Oh, on a side note, I don't know about you guys, but I read a book known as The Martian by Andy Weir. It was like, I don't know, six months ago or something. And there's a film coming out now. Well, very soon, actually. I think November. Yeah, looks like a good film. Highly recommend it. The Martian. But if you watch the trailer, it pretty much tells you the entire plot of the film. So. 
Huh. And the book too. Okay, electric charge just disappeared. <laughs> Alright, what are these engines for? Where what? Oh, okay. Speed. Alright, no action group set. Wait, what? Ah! I'm so confused. What were the engines for if this... They didn't do anything. I suppose it was meant to be fuel here once. But, I don't know. I guess you forgot to add fuel. <laughs> Docking mode, hurry up. Ah, now they can't control these things. Obviously, electric charge is gone, so I suppose that's the reason. I can sort of move them a little. They look like they're spinning too, eh? That's so strange. Although these go these ones here are in midair. Uh, I see, I see. Alright. Well that's uh Alright, that's not as good as I thought. <laughs> I still like the way it looks, it's just the functionality is that uh, limited. Uh, whatever. Anyway, let's go space hangar. Space hangar. Anyway, we have the very last craft for this episode, and I am I really had to show this one. It looked really good. This is Batmobile Mark IV. This is made by Noveth. And uh, Noveth, I don't think you... You didn't really specify your name anywhere from what I remember in the email. So I'm just using your email name partially. Yeah, part of the email name I'm using. This thing looks really good, I have to admit. Uh, if you compare this to my Batmobile that I made once, uh, this one might actually take the cake. And if you're wondering, oh, Heretic, you made a Batmobile? Yeah, just look it up. Look it up, KSP Batmobile. You should see my video somewhere. All right, what do we have here? So we have these small gi bays. What are they for? Uh, what is the purpose? I need instructions. Okay, there are plenty of instructions here. It has basic instructions on how to control the vehicle in the description. Oh, description. Okay, here we go. Uh, custom one toggle basic gen engine toggle ladder. Wait, is that still there? No, oh, oh, wait, oh, partially. Some of them are there. What about number one? I'm really sure you had number one written down here. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Plenty of things here. Solar panels. Alright. Uh, too much writing. I'm just gonna... <laughs> just gonna launch it. I wanna fly it. It might be able to fly. If it falls down off a cliff. <laughs> oh, actually, that'd be just considered falling. But is it considered flying? I don't know. Alright. Let's see. Whoa. Whoa, it looks so cool. It's magical. I don't know what the docking ports are for. Is that part of the original design from Batman Arkham Knight? Yeah, I think that's the name. I haven't exactly seen that film, if it is a film. <laughs> Alright, alright. Well, it goes It goes fast-ish. Plenty of electric electricity. We'll go around everywhere. Maybe climb up a building and you know, fly off the rooftops. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's see what these weapons are for. Looks like we have things down there. What are they? Let us see. Maybe we can fire a few things. No, it looks, it's just debris. All right. Uh, fire. Whoa, okay. Ooh. Hey, one actually hit. Everything just shook. What was that? Is that a new thing? Wow, that's so cool. I didn't know that. I suppose that makes sense because every time everything... You know, I've been playing career mode lately and every time I, something crashes <laughs> everything shakes and it's like oh no it's quite cool actually whoa things is falling apart damn right, let's go again what, <laughs> what wow that's cool that was unexpected well <laughs> whoa it's amazing fire <laughs> that one's going the wrong way why you do that oh and apparently Parachute, now the jet engine's activated. What's that gonna do for us? Full throttle! Oh, we're gonna have to cut the parachutes. <laughs> now we have to see if this thing will. There's another parachute! Yeah. Fly, I tell you. We need the. We need, we need that little ramp. That will help us out. Ugh, so bouncy. Whoa, okay, it's fairly maneuverable. Well, yeah, very bouncy too. Is that a feature? <laughs> I think the wheel's broken. Oh yeah. That's why it's bouncy. Hey, that's actually a cool... That'd make a very nice design. Call a... Make a design called Kangaroo and it does bounce like this. It moves by bouncing. Very efficient. Fly! We are at full throttle, are we not? 
set 90, 98 kilonewtons, still going. All right, well, that's the only problem. <laughs> the wheels. But that's not Nervous' fault. Yes. Bounce. The bounce craft. A new Batmobile. Hey, it's actually flying now. Ugh. Kind of. Wow, that's weird. Glitchy. Oh, it finally breaks after all that time. Man, this thing's pretty hardy. Goodbye. <laughs> well, I actually quite like that. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. That's it for this video. Uh, thank you, Noisy Boy Two Zero One, for the long sword. Well done. Uh, again, listen to my suggestions. Maybe you could make something a little bit better. Uh, still, I, I had fun flying that. Uh, Lucky Armadillo, thank you for your two weed tanks <laughs> and the Batmobile Mark IV by Norrith. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.